What if I told you this is the best gaming accessory you will ever buy? Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we're taking a look at the Nreal Air. Now, before we go ahead and start, I want to give a big shout out to Nreal for sponsoring this video. And the reason I am calling this one of the best gaming accessories is because the Nreal Air is a pair of AR glasses. Now, not just any pair, you've seen that before. Uh, a lot of companies have had this in the past. These are very different. As you can see, they look more stylish, they fit really comfortable, and they look like something you can wear out on a day-to-day -day basis. In terms of design and accessories, you do have nose bridges. You can, of course, swap them out, and you do have extra lenses for you. Why do I call them the best gaming accessory? And I was gonna start off with just purely gaming in this video, but I wanna take things back a little bit. I just came back from a trip from Vietnam, traveled for almost about 24 hours, and I was on three different flights, which means there's a lot of traveling, and also I was watching a lot of content. Now, on a usual basis, I take my Galaxy Fold, but when Enreal reached out to me and said, hey, look, could you, you know, do, do something with this, make a video about our Enreal Air? I said, look, this is a great opportunity to take this with me on a flight. Now, the way the Enreal Air works is that it's got two 1080p uh, Sony micro LED displays, uh, which means you're getting two very sharp displays uh, and they work concurrently to give you a massive image. Now, if you're using the Android device, it gives you a 201 inch display. So imagine being confined in, in an airplane for almost 24 hours. And now instead of you looking at a small screen in your hand or one behind the seat, you're looking at a 201 inch display, which is fantastic. I was able to watch the Tom Brady documentary on Disney Plus. Uh, I caught a lot of that, caught up on some YouTube videos that I also had saved on my device. And it was great for that experience to extend a period of time on a flight. Now, how does this actually work? So when you look at the Enreal Air, uh, you have a design that has some very simple and unique features. On the right-hand side of the device, you have simple controls that allows you to toggle between the opacity of the screen you're looking at. Because this is an AR display, you can make it brighter or darker depending on your feel. There's also speakers here in case you're not using Bluetooth headphones, uh, but again, the speakers do work fair enough. Now on the left-hand side, you do have your USB Type-C connector that of course uses a single USB Type-C cable to connect to your smartphone. Now, if you're on Android, it's a very simple process. Plug in via USB Type-C, uh, you have the ability to automatically just extend as a second display, or you can drop into the Nebula app and that gives you uh, two features. You can mirror your device, uh, or you can have the AR um, view. Now, the AR view is very different and this is where they take things to a very different level. It gives you this expansive view that you can you know, either have hair tracking or body tracking, maps around with a bunch of different options. You can, of course, browse the web, you can play games, you can watch content, you can do a lot of things that you can also capture that as you can see on screen here, how it actually looks in that view. It's, it's fun, it's intuitive, and it actually works pretty well. But when it comes to gaming, this is what I really liked about it. So, I started off by connecting my Android device and playing Call of Duty Mobile. And I was able to just sit down on my couch and yes, I've got a 65 inch display, but honestly, 201 inches playing Call of Duty Mobile is insane. And it was so crisp and so clear. The fact that, you know, it basically mirrors it all the way so it's easy to control and you can play any of the games you want to that way. So I decided, how about we take it to the next level? Let's try um, the Nintendo Switch. And with the Nintendo Switch, you can do that. I did this with the help of a dongle that is sold separately. Uh, this allows you to connect to HDMI devices as well as also your iPhone, which we'll talk about in a second. And I connected uh, this dongle to the HDMI of my Nintendo Switch connected it via the USB port on the other side, USB Type-C port. I was able to play on my Nintendo Switch and enjoy to its full capacity. So you're thinking, okay, you can play on the Switch, what else can you play on? Well, 
I took, went ahead and took my Steam Deck and it was the same experience. Uh, this was easy by just plugging directly via USB Type-C and that was a fun experience as well. So the gaming felt good. Yes, it's only at 60, 60 frames per second or 60 hertz if you will, but it was a very smooth experience here with this device. So I decided to take it one step further. Can I try it on my Xbox or better still, might as well just jump on Xbox Game Pass. And honestly, it was so much fun to be able to just experience that as well. Now, the way the Unreal Air works is that it, does, it doesn't have any power on its own system. It uses power from your devices. So just be aware that it draws power from your smartphone when you're using it for you know, gaming activities or watching content. Now, the other thing too, of course, is that you can use it on your iPhone with the handy dongle they have using, of course, the um, Lightning to HDMI adapter. And that allows you to connect to your iPhone and automatically mirrors the device to the iPhone and you're good to go. And then you can, of course, watch content on there. And it's a great way to, to you know, get a larger display. Now on iOS devices, your display is less than 200, but more than 160 inches. So again, you do have a massive display to actually look at content. There I say, it was a great experience. And just going back to that flight, I couldn't play games on the flight because I forgot to bring my Steam Deck, which is kind of a dumb move. But I was able to share this with a bunch of people on the flight. They were pretty stunned and shocked to see that I had this massive display on such a small device. And what I liked the most is that I was able to just sit down, eat my food while I could still watch my content because again, my display goes with my eyesight where anywhere I went and it was a fun experience. So while you're viewing content and say you want to block out your environment and you don't want to stay in an AR position, then you've got this lens cover here that basically blocks out everything and then you've got just full view on your content the way you want. Now the Enreal Airs retail for $299 and to me, these are a great pair of AR glasses. I love to see more functionality come in as it gets built into this device, because you currently now have the ability to do screen recording, uh, you can play games on there, there's also a web browser, but I just wanna see more from it. I like what they've done, and I can't wait for you guys to try this out. So if you really want to use this and also expand, and maybe you don't wanna have a TV in your house, or maybe you don't wanna have a projector, but you wanna be able to just enjoy your content anywhere you go on a large display within your purview, then the Enreal Air is definitely worth it for you. If not, definitely still check it out because I was truly stunned. Yeah, it's amazing. So go ahead, use the links down below and always enjoy entertainment.